Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial. Today I'm gonna to be looking at three stocks that I would consider buying as they approach key levels. All of the trades that I produce, I do put in the Discord down below, which is in the description. The first stock that I wanna look at today is going to be STEM under the ticker symbol STEM, and they trade on the New York Stock Exchange. This is a smart energy, clean energy play that they are a installer on the hardware side of a number of commercial battery systems for warehouses and large distribution centers, as well as a software company using their Athena software, where they actually go in after the fact and install their software to provide analyst level or analysis level reports, as well as dashboard level information. This is a stock that this calendar year has done very, very well. And coming up from below $20 a share. They then dipped back below $20 a share before they hit the high at the end of July, north of 35, closer to $37 a share, and they have dipped back down. So the key level that I'm actually looking at is $26 a share. Today they went close. They actually had a low of $26.45. I said that that was going to be the level I was watching. And this company, unfortunately, is being associated with small caps in general and due to the fact that small cap industry has sunk this week they're kind of getting dragged down with it that being said from a pure valuation perspective the company is very very highly valued just to go back to this they currently are supporting a 3.4 billion dollar market cap which is a huge level especially due to the fact that they are still by and large still trying to grow into their overall evaluation or valuation. Because of that, this is one that still could fall much further, which is some of my concern. However, they do have earnings coming up, which this is going to be the second Q earnings for this company for this calendar year. Again, that is going to be expected. You can see this. We'll go back a little bit into the Q2 time period. We're expecting this August 5th. I've also seen August 14th. This is still expected to come in at a loss, but right now the company is trading at a crazy multiple in terms of an estimated price to sales ratio. They are not profitable yet, so they're not gonna have a PE ratio. But from a price to sales perspective, what we're gonna be looking for is are they actively growing their revenue? So this year they are expecting to have more than $100 million in sales. This is gonna be the first quarter where we need to see and expect some of that growth. Could be big, but we're gonna to have to watch it. Until we see a lot of that growth, then that 3.2 valuation is really going off of about $60 million in sales, which is a very high price to sales multiple, especially for a company that currently does not have any cash on hand, or rather does not have that cash on hand to warrant that valuation. You can see some of that in the fundamentals here. I'll go onto the balance sheet. And they were able to raise that money, so they're sitting on right at a hundred or four hundred and twenty six million dollars which again is going to enable them to continue to move forward but there is a lot of expenses that are going to be going into this especially when you are running a net loss going forward so you can see that net income all the way down here negative 156 million dollars i think a lot of that is tied to prepaid expenses which we saw in the last slide but at the end of the day they are not bringing in that income that we really need them to do so so we're going to be watching this one keep in mind there's a lot of risk but I also think that this is a lot of reward. This is smart energy space with a lot of capabilities going forward. The next two companies I wanna look at are going to be first Genius Sports, which is under the ticker symbol Genie, G-E-N-I. And thank you to PHAXX in the Discord for bringing this one to my attention today because I did purchase an additional 100 shares today. And so we're still down on that position a little bit. I bought in right at $16 a share. You can see this right here. They did hit a low today of $15.74 and that was continuing to sell off. And this is a company that I really, really like because they have so much capabilities. Recognizing that they are down 9% today, I think that there's still a lot of value here, especially for a long-term hold. They're currently bringing on a lot of debt to finance some of these relationships that they have, but I still think that there is a lot of value associated with the company. This company does all of the data work for a lot of the sports books, and you can see that they have crested $20 a share twice this year. In both instances, we did sell our shares, 
and I think that now is a great time to buy back in. I've said $17, today it was $16, and I think that capability showcases itself. You can see that in terms of the overall short interest appears that as of the June 30, they actually have a pretty high short interest, which I hadn't really been looking at. So that could cause them to be kind of one of those squeeze targets, but that's not why I'm going into the company and investing in them. This is another company that used to be a SPAC. They're now no longer a SPAC, but they're crazy in the fact that if you look at their net income right here, in terms of total revenue, it looks like we're still showing the SPAC numbers here because they haven't announced their their revenue this year, but this company is actually profitable, but right now we're showing still a lot of the SPAC numbers. However, this is a company that partners very heavily with my next stock, DraftKings, and I think that there's so much potential for this company because this is an industry that is going to continue to grow, and this is one of two key players in the duopoly. For that reason, I'm rating it a buy, and really, I have entered at $16. I'll most likely look to exit or start closing out that position when they get back to $20, which will I, I do expect to be in the latter half of this year. I don't know if we're still in for some additional pain based on the overall market expectations, especially show, associated with these high growth small caps, but that's what I'm gonna be looking at going forward. If you're still watching so far, please consider leaving a like and subscribe and you'll get more of this type of content. The next stock that we're going to be looking at is one that if you've been a follower of the channel, just like the other two, incredibly happy to look at. And this is going to be DraftKings. And you can see them here. They, I purchased another six shares today. I'd like to get more, but this is just a stock that has so much potential, but they continue to lose money. And the thing that's concerning me is are they going to see a decrease in their valuation as they continue to be not profitable and not only are they not profitable they are burning money very very quickly my hope is that as we see football season come back to normal this fall we've got not only the sec returning but we just saw a huge soccer tournament in the euro we're going to see the premier league la liga and football all starting this fall and q3 q4 tends to be big for DraftKings. Right now, this pricing is not favorable, but as you can see, we're on the lower end of where we've been year to date. What I'm gonna be looking for, again, I entered today, been building this position. My average cost is around $47 a share. And what I'm gonna be looking at is getting out between 55 to $60 a share. Again, the big concern for me is the overall profitability of the company. This is a company that did have a pretty big short report come out against them from Hindenburg Research earlier this calendar year. I haven't heard a lot of noise associated with that since then, but I think if we see one of those bounces that we saw back in the June time period, especially for small caps, then these could definitely be a beneficiary, even though, again, it's kind of outside that small cap, it still has been following that relatively closely. And for that reason, we're going to be watching it. Again, recognizing that there has been a ton of volume on these companies, and there's a lot of speculation associated with them. But DraftKings has such the, they're a dominant power when it comes to the sports betting books. For that reason, I think that they're going to continue to grow this fall. And for that reason, I really like the potential of buying in at these levels. Again, really looking for that $50 to $55 range, at which point we'll probably start limiting that position and selling out. But these are the three stocks that I'm looking at as we go forward. I've purchased some of them. I'll continue to purchase some more depending on what happens. I do list all of that in the description down below by checking out that Discord. If you have any comments or other stocks you think I should check out, please let me know in the comments down below or in the Discord. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like.